What's up, everyone? Um, I know that normally I would be doing music or gaming or working on something. But today I've been very, very depressed. And for good reason. My family is at risk of being evicted from our home because of the trolls. This morning, Music Biz Marty sent someone to our house to rip down our fence. And our landlady, her, um, the company, the, whatever you want to call it, they're her insurance company, her and the police both said that either our internet gets turned off or we get evicted. And I need everyone's help because my family wants to fight this really bad. We want to get a lawyer, but around here in Ohio, it's almost impossible. My family needs an out-of-state lawyer that will take on our case and help to fight this shit. And my mom's been downstairs in tears on and off all morning. I've been trying to figure out a way that I can raise over a hundred dollars to try to get a lawyer for my family so that we can finally fight these goddamn trolls and put a stop to this shit. Because these trolls like Music Biz Marty and CBG have put my family in a very, very dangerous situation where we will probably be evicted if something is not done. And this house is all I've ever known for the last 10 years. For the last 10 to 11 years, this has been my home. This has been my family's home. This is where I first started my music. This is where I started my very first YouTube channel. This house has been a part of my life for the last 11 years. And it's been a part of my family's life. This is our home. And we're at risk because of the fucking trolls doing what they're fucking doing. These people have damaged our house, stolen stuff from us, and the police and the FBI are refusing to do a damn thing of fucking about it. This morning, when we called the police department to make a report, that officer basically made it sound like I start a lot of the shit that goes on. But even you guys know that a lot of the shit that goes on, I don't start it. I try to get away from it. So I'm asking, not for myself, but on behalf of my family, I need you guys to help try to get a lawyer or somehow really get some sort of money to fight this shit. So if these people can be put behind bars where they belong and my family can be safe, And to answer your question, it's because according to the police, everything that goes on on the internet is not real. According to the cops, none of this is real. They think that getting off the internet is going to help things. They truly think that, the, that by getting off the internet is going to help shit. But it's not. It's only going to make it worse.
And quite honestly, I'm tired of sitting here and watching this happen and nothing being done about it. I'm tired of the police here not doing their fucking job. I'm tired of being taken as a joke. I'm tired of my family being seen as we're doing something wrong when we're trying to stop all this. And I'll be honest, guys, I can't bear to see my mom homeless. I can't. I can't bear to see her or my stepdad homeless. It's not fair to them, and it's not fair to anyone involved. These people need to be stopped and bad. I know a lot of people out there think that I have all this money, but the truth is, I don't. I don't have the money that I deserve. I don't have the money that I've worked my fucking ass off for for the last seven years. And it's because of Marty, William Glory Hole, and CBG that I don't have that fucking money. A lot of people don't know this. But I'm because of Marty and them, I'm losing out on over ten million dollars in ad revenue within a few years. Within a year, I'm losing over two million in ad revenue. Because these people want to ruin my life. These people want to antagonize me. They want to see me get mad. Well, you know what? Now I have a reason to get mad. Because my family is at risk. My family is at risk of losing their home. I'm at risk of losing everything I've worked so hard for. I need your guys' help to either raise money or to help me find a lawyer that would be willing to take on my case and help us fight this shit. I can't bear to see my family homeless. I want to fight this so bad, but I don't have the money to, and neither does my family. Every month, we just barely scrape by on rent. We maybe have a few hundred dollars to our name after rent, and all that money goes towards groceries. So that we can eat. So that we can live. And I'm tired of my family living like this. I want better for myself. And for my family. I want my family to not have to worry. About paying rent ever again. I want my family to be able to afford lawyers. When shit like this comes up. And right now, I need everyone's help that I can get to try to pull everyone together to try to put a stop to this shit. Because the police here aren't doing anything. The FBI won't do anything. Because they all think that it's internet garbage and that it's fake shit. But that fake shit has now spilled over into real fucking life. My family is at risk of losing our home. And I'm asking anybody out there that can help to please do so.
I'm asking for everyone's help that I can get. And I mean everyone. Because I know you guys don't want to see me or my family homeless. But if we don't get a lawyer and fight this, that's what is more than likely going to fucking happen. Something not a lot of people know. Very few, in fact, know this little fact about me. When I first moved here to Ohio with my family, we were living out of the back of my mom's GMC Jimmy for a year and a half before we got a place. I was homeless for over a year. Watching my mom work graveyard shift at different restaurants day in and day out, day in and day out, trying to save up money to be able to afford the place that we have now. I watched my mom bust her ass, wondering how we were going to eat the next day, how we were going to survive the next day, if we were going to be okay, where were we going to get a place. I watched that go on for over a fucking year. Before we finally got a place to live, which is the place we're in right now. But let me tell you. Seeing this go on, I'm, I don't want that to happen again. Because my family is at risk of losing their home, and I'm at risk of losing everything. My career, my home, everything I've worked so hard up to this point to build is at risk. And I need everyone's help. I mean Everyone, not just one or two people, I mean everybody, everybody that you guys know that can help. Anybody out there that can help out by trying to get us a lawyer or cash apping me, however much you guys can to save up to try to get a lawyer, my family needs your help. And I've never asked for help from anyone. I've never once in my whole career asked for help from anyone. Everything I have done, I have built and worked my ass off for from the ground up. But right now, my family needs your help. And bad. Very bad. Like, I'm not playing around here. This is not some sort of, oh, pity me joke. No, this is real fucking life. My family is at risk of losing their fucking home. I'm at risk of losing my home. A lot of you guys that know me personally, you guys know. Some of you have even watched me build everything I have now from the ground up. A lot of you guys have been there since day one, so a lot of you guys know what the fuck is up. A lot of you guys have watched me build my career from nothing up to what it is now. My family wants this shit to stop, and as do I. And I know a lot of you guys do too. And if you guys want this to stop, I need you guys to try to help my family find a lawyer that will help us fight this shit and put a stop to it so that my family can live in peace and so that we can repair our home and live our lives in peace. Because no one deserves to go through this shit. No one. A lot of people have this notion that I'm this evil bad guy because of the videos that are out there on the internet, but the truth is I'm not. When it comes down to it, let me tell you the kind of fucking person I am. Let me, matter of fact, let me fucking show you the kind of fucking person that I am, dude.
You guys see this wallet right here? In here is $20. And if you don't believe me, as you guys can see, $20 right there, right? If somebody needed this $20, I would hand it over to them with no questions at all. If they needed it to help their family, I would hand this to them and not think twice about it. Or hell, you see these movie ticket cards right here to the Regal Theater? You see this right here? If there was a little kid that wanted to see a movie, like really badly and didn't have money, there you go. Take my cards. That's the kind of fucking person I am. And this right here will make it even more clear. You see this card right here? I used to work with Operation Smile back in the day. And if you guys don't know what Operation Smile is, they give free surgeries to kids and people with cleft lip and cleft palate all over the world. I came across them about 14 years ago while watching a movie that a good friend of our family had started. The movie was called Smile. In the movie, Operation Smile is called Doctor's Gift. But when I watched that movie, I knew I needed to get involved. I knew that that was something that I needed to get involved with. And ever since then, I've been, I've been involved with them on a lot of levels. I've made videos for them. I've done local charity events with the church that I used to go to with them. I've done local missions to help out. That's the kind of person that I am. Always giving. Always giving. But yet, no one gives in return. Because of these trolls, everybody's afraid to give in return. And it's fucking sad. It's truly fucking sad. I did not ask to be trolled or bullied or harassed. I am a victim of gang stalking, but yet the police don't want to do anything. The FBI doesn't want to do anything. Because they unlawfully labeled me as a 43, which if you guys don't know what a 43 is, here in Ohio that basically means mentally disturbed. When clearly I'm not mentally disturbed. And you know, I would never ask anybody for a single fucking dime. I really wouldn't. I wouldn't ask anyone for a fucking dime. Like, if you guys notice, during my live streams, I say, if you would like to donate. Meaning, if you don't have the money, that's cool. And if you do have the money and you want to donate, that's cool too. I don't force anyone to donate. I don't. I say if you would like to, or if you, you know, have the money and you would, you know, want to see something happen, like something, 
you know, fun or cool, you know, I don't force it. I basically say, hey, you know, if you want to donate, right here's the info, because I know some people would like to donate, and they don't know how, so that's when I go in and say, hey, here's my cash app, here's my PayPal. You guys can send the money to either one of those. But right now, I am asking for money. I am asking for help. I am asking for you guys to help my family get a lawyer that isn't a total piece of shit. My family is at risk. And we seriously need fucking help. And bad. And I've never asked for anything from anyone in my whole fucking life. I have always worked my ass off for everything that I got. Everything I have now, I've worked my ass off for. All the stuff that was given to me by fans, they did that to see me succeed. Because they want to see me do well. But right now, my family needs your help, guys. This isn't a fucking joke. This isn't a ha-ha, oh, pity me. You know, type of deal. No. My family is legitimately at risk of losing their fucking home. We are all at risk of losing our home right now. Because of Music Biz Marty. Because of that Cyrax video games guy. Because of William Gloryhole. Because of all these fucking people that do this evil fucking shit. My family is at risk. My family wants to take Music Biz Marty, a.k.a. Nicholas Beagler, to court. Because Nicholas Beagler is the head of all this shit. He's the one that targeted me first. He's the one that started all this. I have that man's first and last name. I know what he looked like. I have his, the uh, license plate from the rental car that he rented when he came down here. I have all that stuff. I even have evidence of him taking our stolen shit and giving it away live on YouTube. I have both live streams and the clip where he mentions Officer R. Truman from the Akron PD. I have all the info I need. I have all my evidence lined up, backed up. I have about four or five freaking USB sticks full of evidence. I have a lot more evidence on my current hard drive. I have even more evidence on my old hard drive. Like, I've got so much evidence showing what these people have done that it's insane. But yet, every time we take the evidence to the police, they don't want to see it. And get this. They tell us that in order to prosecute or to move forward, that we need evidence, right? We need names, we need this and that. And I give them all that stuff, but yet when we make the report, they claim that they don't need it. Tell me where that makes any sense. Tell me where that makes any fucking sense. They sit there and say that to get all the evidence together, and then turn around and say that we don't fucking need it. Every time, this is them. I tell them, hey, like, what can I do to, you know, fight this? Then they turn around and say, okay, if you want to press charges, here's all the information that we need. Okay, so I go out and I gather that information. And I hand it over to them. The minute I hand it over to them, they say that they don't need it. How does that make any sense 
at all. How does that make any sort of fucking sense? And I, for one, would like to know how the fuck I'm at fault for what these people do. Like, I, for one, would like to know Like, what people expect me to fucking do. I get off the internet. I get attacked. I mind my own business. I get attacked. Our landlady told us that the insurance company and the police both told her and this is what the insurance company and the police both told her. They both told her that I need to get off the internet or she needs to evict us so that the value of her house doesn't go down anymore due to damages. Those were their exact words to her. When we're not causing the damage, it's these other fucking people that are doing this shit. Now the holes in the wall, like I told my mom downstairs, dude. Like I told my mom a few hours ago. If my landlady needs help repairing the walls, I'll help cover the cost in any way that I can. Like, I'll help cover for the holes in the wall. I have no problem with that at all, whatsoever. But all the other damages caused by these trolls, they need to fucking pay for. My family didn't do shit. These trolls, like CBG and Marty, they're the ones that need to be paying for this shit. Not me and my family. My family is essentially getting punished for something that the trolls fucking do. And where is that fair? And where is that right? Where is it right that these trolls get to get off scot-free while my family gets punished for what they fucking do? My family is getting punished for what these trolls fucking do. And that's not right. That's why I'm asking anybody out there that can help my family in any way. Whether it's setting up a GoFundMe. Whether it's, you know, if you guys need my PayPal or my Cash App for sending donations. Or you guys need my street address to get a lawyer. Or even to get a news team out of here to talk to my family. Like, any kind of help right now means the world to us. It really does. Yeah, but here's the thing though, dude. Everything my family does depends on the internet. Everything. My stepdad's job. That's how he keeps in contact with shit. Like that's how. The internet is how. We keep our phones on. That's how we keep our phones on. That's how we keep everything going. That's how I'm able to do my job. As a music artist. That's how I'm able to do streams. For you guys. And believe me, dude, I've stayed off the internet before. And you know what happened? They still continue to attack my family. 
Even after I stay off the internet, they continue to attack my family. So staying off the internet, that's out of the question. That can't happen. And even if it did, it wouldn't do any good. They would still attack my family. Just like last time. But with that being said, guys, I do have to bounce off here. Um, if you guys do want the info to help out, um, like, if you guys do need the info to help out, I will be doing another stream later on where I will put out that info for you guys. But right now, I need to talk to a friend of mine because they're messaging me. And it's probably about what's going on. But during the next, between now and the next stream later on tonight, I need you guys to hop on that shit. I need you guys to try to figure out a way to help me fight this shit once and for all. And to help my family out. With that being said, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys later.